Hi guys and welcome to another podcast. Now this one I want to talk about what I believe is the biggest thing that slows people down in their business and life progressions and this is something that you probably know but we don't implement it all and we don't do it all and we let we let things around us distract us from what we're doing. So I'm SJ Hartshorn. I am an award-winning beauty business coach and I support and coach entrepreneurs like you in the beauty industry to get seen, scale up their business and create a business that they want on their terms. I broke the mould massively three years ago and I completely pivoted my business. Um, I changed the way I worked so I could have more scalable income and I wasn't solely relying on performing a treatment for money, time for money, okay? Um, My belief is that in the beauty industry, we are all very knowledgeable, very well educated, and we can serve people on a different level. Obviously, people that are watching this, you may be at different levels in your business. You may be very new to the industry. You need to just build up your clientele and get and discover your niche and discover what gets you excited. Or you may be at that stage where you're kind of almost at burnout where you feel like you are completely your business has taken over your personal life your business takes over your evenings messaging back and forth and you can't physically fit anything else in but you can't earn no more either because you've got no more time to give. And this is where I come in on every different level of your uh, beauty journey. So I want to talk about um, how I believe, what I believe is the things that slow people down. Now, I do want to say first before I get into this, that I have a coaching platform uh, where I have lessons that are preloaded on there, modules that will take you step by step on a process to um, from start to finish to automate your business, to get seen, um, to scale up your business, to create subscriptions, to use social media, to um, create blogs in, in seconds, not in seconds, in minutes. Uh, there's so many bonus material on there and this is specifically for the people that are in a service based industry but my background is beauty and permanent makeup so I do attract a lot of people into my platform that are uh, from the skin aesthetics and permanent makeup and beauty industry um my platform i opened the doors um uh, about a year ago it's been it's been running for a long time but i decided to cut the cost of this and only be at nine pound a month so nine pound a month to have regular modules released bonus lessons from specialists of all sorts of fields whether that be sales and marketing ai um seo uh life coaching it is all there in the platform for nine pound a month so if you need that accountability and you need to have a little bit of direction you find that you're just getting through the weeks and there's no planning progress there's nothing that you're working towards but you know you're just working hard and you just want to have something more you feel like you deserve something more you feel like you you, you you just need that support, then this platform is perfect for you. The doors will be closing on the 16th of July. Um, so it is £9 a month. The doors opened a couple of weeks ago and it will be closing on the 16th of July. So just for £9 a month, two Starbucks, then you can access this platform and have all my top tips, tools, workshops, bonus material. It is all in there. So the biggest thing I find... Um, in the in 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 everybody's life not just the beauty industry um but i believe the biggest thing that people fail to do and this stops them getting to where they want to be as soon as uh, um, in in a short space of time is planning now we all plan everything we do in life okay we plan um an event we are going to have a hen do or a barbecue or a holiday we spend a percentage of time planning for that week event or that night event okay whether it be sorting out the guest list sorting out the insurance traveling um food whatever it may be but we don't do this for our goals we don't do this for our life so if we want to create an online course or we want to I don't know have um a five client a day um regular days or anything that we want to do in life and business we just say that's what we want we just say yep that's my goal to be busier to earn more money to uh, create this course yet that's my goal where is the plan 
where is the plan and this is where people go wrong if you have got a goal and this is your life and you think you know what in 12 months time i want to have this this needs to be broken down into manageable tasks that you can then put time in on a regular basis to then get to that end result so a goal without a plan is just a dream okay we cannot just say that we want to do this or achieve this or have this but without putting a plan in place now i am not or i was not should i say a natural planner okay i have got that um kind of think I may have ADHD, um, but I have got that um, that kind of shiny object syndrome. You know, I get an idea, I'm like, oh, that sounds nice. Then I go into something else and then I do too many things and then I don't follow through with any of them. And I've always been like this. And I do strongly believe that if I would have really harnessed the, the planning aspect of goals, I would be a lot further on in my lives and goals and dreams than what I am now. But I am completely on target now since I managed to master this. So in part of the platform as well, there is an amazing planning tool, which is one of my favorite modules in the platform, which will enable you to do this. It will enable you to actually put in your goals, put in your big goals that you've got for the year, and then break this down into manageable tasks, then break this down into time allocation so you can make yourself accountable to work towards this end goal. And it is all about consistency. We all know that being consistent changing our regular habits, changing them habits until they become habits that we will then achieve this. So it's something that is I'm very passionate about because like I said, I was not a natural planner um, and now I plan everything. My personal life, I don't plan too much. I'm very much spontaneous in that area. But when it comes to business, I, I have got above here, you can't see it, but I have got a year planner on my wall i've got my spreadsheet of my one five ten twenty year goals and it's all there for me to see and to keep me on track and to keep me focused and to keep me consistent and you will have times that you fall off the wagon you know personal life things can come into the mix and it can send you off course you just have to regain it and if you change these daily habits then you'll be able to regain that consistency a lot quicker. So planning for me is one of the main reasons that people don't progress as far as they want to in life and business. They don't plan out that goal. They don't make themselves accountable to working on that goal on a regular basis. And they do not continue with consistency. So this is one of the number one reasons. I want to also talk about another big reason, which a lot of people know but a lot of people haven't got the balls to make changes, okay? And I, I'm also, I can put my hand up, I'm also one of these people as well. It's who you surround yourself with, okay? Whoever you surround yourself with, it's contagious, okay? You surround yourself with five losers that haven't got no ambition, they work Monday to Friday just to enjoy the weekend, they've got no goals and aspirations, and you're there thinking that you've got a big goal, you want to smash this, you want to do this, you will never get there by hanging around these kind of people, okay? And if they've been friends for years, that's great, but limit your time with these people and make sure that you you only surround yourself with people that have got the same outlook in terms of life, money, business, wealth, progression, success. And it is so important. And like I said, this is this is from experience as well. You know, I unfortunately have um, in the last year surrounded myself um with people that haven't brought the best out in me and it has slowed down my progression and obviously you feel you feel maybe loyal to that person in some way uh you feel like they've been a friend of yours for many 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 years so I can't not talk to them you know we, I'm not saying be mean to that person but just focus your time and energy on somebody that will bring out the best in you because I tell you what, when you are surrounded by these people, you will be able to move mountains because they will be massive supporters. And there's what there's that saying. What's that saying? If you want to kill a dream, tell it to a narrow-minded person. 
And it's true. And there's also that old, uh, that explanation. I've seen a lot of things on social media about this. You know, when you actually put, um, you know, a bunch of crabs in a bucket, you put a bunch of crabs in a bucket, okay? They're all at the bottom. They're all fine. They're all doing whatever they're doing. And then one tries to escape. One just thinks, you know what? This life in this bucket, it ain't for me. I don't want to be here no more. I want to be over there. I'm going. I'm going on the beach. I'm doing my own thing. If this crab tries to escape, what happens? What do the other crabs do? They pull that crab down and start pulling off their limbs, okay? And that is, that is, that's real in life. You know, have you ever, think about this, have you ever had a goal, okay? You've had a goal, you've got an idea, you've got a business idea, whether you want to change the way your business is running or whether you have got a really good idea and it's completely brand new and you tell it to someone, they're like, you can't do that. Yeah, no, no, it's not going to work. Oh, are you really smart enough to create that? Oh, no, 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 stop living in clouds. No, just go and get a job. Okay, we've all had it. We have all had it. Now, sometimes this can be different with who it is. Okay, so I do want to say that if you are like family, for instance, okay, um, I'm very close to my parents and I have had a bit of negativity from family members, but this is a bit different because. If they're telling you not to progress in something and they're saying, oh, really, is that a good idea? Oh, could you just get a job and oh, could you do this? The reason why they're doing it is because they're scared in case it doesn't work. So they're scared because they don't know what to do if you put all your eggs in this basket and then they have to then help and support you afterwards. So so they're doing it out of um, out of kindness, really, and obviously a little bit scared for the outcome. But when it is friends then normally they're doing it because they they don't want you to surpass the level of success that they're at. And it's just human nature. It's not me being a bitch. It's not me being mean. It is just human nature. If you've been a friend with somebody for years and you're the same age and you've gone through school the same and you've done everything the same and then you've got this idea to take your life and business to a next level and they're still in a job that they don't like, they're working Monday to Friday, they're living for the weekend... And they hear this idea from you and they start to see you working towards this. It reminds them that, oh, shit, I should be where they are now. I should be where they are now. So to make them feel better, they, without realising it, will try and pull you back down. And this is the time when you have to realise that sometimes friends and family or people around you may not be with you for your whole life. You know, they can be there just for a season. They can be there just for a year. They can be there for five years, you know. It is all depending upon you and how you are growing. And it doesn't mean you're changing. Well, it does mean you're changing. But you might get people that say to you, um, oh, you've changed you. You've completely changed. You weren't like this before. You used to love going out on a bender. You know, you've changed. Yeah, I'm growing. I'm growing and developing into who I am and who I want to be. And you know what? I want to be a selfish motherfucker and focus on me and my goals and my aspirations. You know, I'm not going to just stay at this level where I'm unfulfilled, unhappy and not achieving what I want to achieve. So these are things that you learn from lessons. You know, I've learned this because I have been I have been hurt emotionally, um, like like most people, you know, everyone's life is not completely rosy. And there's these things that you that you do along the way in life and business, which makes you which toughens you up, makes you think more about becoming more selfish. And what this does actually makes your circle of friends and trusted people a lot smaller. And I've got such a small circle of people around me that I that I love and adore. And I don't need 20 friends. I need two friends. You know, that's it. Two, three friends. And I'm good with that because I know that these people are the ones that will truly support me. And they are similar minded and they, they they want me to strive in whatever I do. So they're the big two things that I believe. And it's not about it's not about your finances. It's not about your ideas. It's not about your knowledge, how smart you are, how clever you are, how confident you are, um, how many 
GCSEs or A-levels or education level that you've got. It's not about any of that. Success is not dependent on any of that, okay? If you truly want to succeed in your life and take your life and business to another level, the big two things that stop people are planning out their goals, playing out what they're doing and who they surround themselves with. So I hope this podcast has given you a little bit of a a little bit of a light bulb ding moment, okay? Because I think we all know this, especially the people we surround ourselves with, maybe not the goal side, the goal planning side, but we all know this, but we don't do it. We don't do it. And sometimes we don't do it because we think, well, you know, what if I what if I keep that person at arm's length or what if I cut that person out of my life? You know, what are they going to think? Okay, are you really going to not do something because of what somebody else might think? Whose life is this? It's your life. It's your life. It's your goals. It's what you're doing for your family and your, your, your close, uh, your, your children, for you, for, for where you want to be. You can't live your life by not taking action because of these people around you that are saying it can't be done, don't do it, um, and what they might think or what they, they may say to the other friends at the pub. I don't give a shit. I'm at that point of my life right now that I am completely, truly, authentically being me. And if somebody is in my life that doesn't give me value and doesn't appreciate the value that I give back, because I give a lot to people that give to me, if they are not adding value to my life then it it doesn't matter go away it like this is it you know I am look, focusing on me where I'm going what I'm doing for me my children my life my future and my happy ever after so really just take a take a stand on being the true authentic self that you are and look at these goals and aspirations and dreams that you've got and don't let nobody stop you. If this is what is niggling away at you and you believe that this is possible, make a detailed plan, make a detailed plan, plan out these goals, plan out these tasks that you have to do every day to deliver these goals. And if there's people on the way, along the way that are pulling you down or giving you negative feedback for what you're doing and not constructive criticism or not constructive or positive energy, you know, remove them. As simple as that. It is your life to do what you want to do. Now, if you want a little bit of help and a little bit of guidance to get your head around this, to have that accountability, to work through the planning tools that I've created, then like I said, my platform is only £9 a month. £9 a month for regular modules. And it's not just covering goal planning. It's not just covering what I've discussed on this podcast today. It covers all aspects of automating, streamline, um, using AI in your business, getting seen, social media, um, creating blogs, Google My Business, all the levels that you will need to create a business on your terms. And if you're in business and you want to branch out and you're thinking, you know what, I need something more now, but you don't know who your avatar is, you don't know what niche to go down, you feel like you're being um, kind of like drawn down the wrong path. And the reason why I say that is a lot of people have that shiny object syndrome kind of thing where they, they see something new and they want to go to that. And we see it all the time. But if you don't know exactly what you want and where you want to go, you will get distracted by all these things on the way. And my planning tool and my, not my planning tool, sorry, uh, my platform on um, the module about uh, knowing your avatar and developing your niche, it's something where you don't have to know where to go. But once you go through this and once you fill in certain aspects on this tool that I give you, you will then know where you want to go. Because the certain questions that I ask on there and it's listed out in a certain way that you're like, oh, okay, that's my niche. That's where I'm going. And then we start scaling up from there. So if you've enjoyed this podcast, please guys, share it to anybody that you believe is a little bit stuck in the rat race of time for money exchange. Share it on your social medias. I am SJ Hartshorn, the beauty business coach, and I am here to scale up your business for you to get seen and you build your business on your fucking terms only. It's time to break the mold. Knowledge is power. And if we 
have more knowledge in what we are doing in terms of running a business and knowing where we're going, we can be truly unstoppable. So thank you so much. Connect with me now. You can find me on Instagram um, at SJ Hartshorn, which is spelled E-S-S-J-A-Y Hartshorn. You can find me on LinkedIn. You can find me on TikTok, every single social media platform. Go in, connect with me and ask me how you join that platform and I will send you a link. The link will also be in this video as well. Bye for now, guys, and have a beautiful week. Take care.